Hi everyone, I'm Chris Schneider, a superintendent here at the Pacific City Apartment Project in Huntington Beach. Given the fact that we're less than a quarter mile away from the ocean, as we started the excavations for our sump pits, we realized how much groundwater that we were facing with. Originally, the plans called for precast systems to be poured in place down inside the pit. But due to the fact that there was so much groundwater coming in, the superintendents came together and we decided that it would be more productive to form up the bases of the precast systems out on ground level and then lower them in into the pits after we had pumped out all of the water. To give you an idea how this process works, we first received concrete cylinders from a manufacturer. We then set them up. We grab a wooden template set on top. We drill our holes, approximately 13 holes. We add our epoxy and set in our rebar. We then flip these cylinders over and set them down into our formwork that was placed with rebar. And we then fill in with concrete. Depending on the size of the cylinders, which range from a five foot diameter to three foot diameter, we make our blocks a foot larger on either side of the cylinder. These blocks are approximately two feet thick. We then follow up by spraying on our waterproof coating, which encapsulates the whole precast system. After the liquid waterproofing is cured, we then follow up with additional waterproofing membrane, which we wrap the entire precast system with. Here we are at one of our sump pits. We have approximately four on this project. It's about 20 foot wide by 15 foot and about 15 foot deep. This process starts off by digging our excavation and then setting our shoring. As we're digging, groundwater starts to enter the sump pit, which we then start pumping out. We then fill in with about two foot of gravel, level it out, and then set our precast. We'll follow up by setting the plumber in there to run his pipe, and then we'll start backfill. You can see the constant flow of groundwater entering in. This was the main reason why we decided to construct these precast systems instead. After the plumber poured the penetrations, he installed his pipe, his link seal, and the concrete sub then followed up by dry packing the penetration so we won't have any water leakage. Here we are at our finished product. I removed the temporary cover so you'll be able to see what the finished product will look like. We're sitting in the basement level right now. After our slurry backfill, we'll go ahead and bring our slab on grade out to this elevation and we'll cap this pit with a steel sewer cover. On behalf of myself and Bernard, I'd like to thank you for stopping by the Pacific City Apartments and I'm happy to share this piece of the project with you.